Valerie just came in to see me. She's been my customer for over 30 years. She buys Cadillacs, so all she likes is Cadillacs. And she's just lovely and uh, a real pleasure, pleasure dealing with her. Oh, I'm excited. It's been a while since I've seen him. I'm uh, ready to make a deal, ready to get rid of the last car that he sold me about 16 or so years ago and see what he's got, what he has new for me. So what can I do for you today? I'm looking for a Cadillac like in the 1960s. Um, I was thinking about 1970s, but my husband just won't have it. He, he's not crazy about those cars. I'm going to broaden your scope a little bit. I have a 1955 Cadillac coupe with the Continental kit on the back. Extended forks on the back. It's just badass. It's beautiful. I don't know. You got to look at it. You know, I like things that are classic, though. Like what the, the Continental kit is not how it came, was it? You could get it with a Continental kit. Yeah? Yeah, oh yeah, back All then. All right, I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Right. And I think when you see it, I think you'll think the same thing. Well, we've uh, you've given me three great cars over the years. I will trust your judgment. Let's take a look. Yeah, but I want you to like it. Come on. Okay. I'll show it to you. Well, here I am, and Valerie wants to buy a Cadillac. This car is stock with a Continental kit on the back. It's just gorgeous. It runs nice. Chrome is immaculate. It's a beautiful car. If you don't like it, you'll know right away. If you like it, you're going to go, wow. Wow. <laughs> Already wow. Look at it. This is so wild. I've never seen uh, the bullets on the front. It's off the charts. Oh, jeez. It's fantastic. Isn't it beautiful? You know, the 60s sold me had a grill full of bullets, but nothing like this. No, oh, this is, huh. the chrome is so heavy, it's so 50s. Well, my first impression, it was like looking at a giant uh, key lime pie. It was really amazing. The chrome on the front of the car was just so outstanding. The sheer length of the car, like it just looks like a giant piece of metal. And I feel like I would be safe in a car like this. So you know where to put gas in this car? Uh, in the gas tank? Where's the, uh, where do you put the gas in? I don't see it anywhere. Wow. Is that beautiful? That's Is really that clean. 1955. What a great uh, design. Yeah. Huh. And it locks. Well, it's going to need a lot of gas for a car like this. This but is pushing drive, a lot of metal. But you don't drive tremendous miles. No, no. Uh-uh. This is going to be for around town. I think that this is going to take me to the next level. You know, the car that I've been driving is a beautiful car, but it's getting a little bit decrepit. And I'm looking forward to floating on the cloud of Key Lime Pie down the highway. My intuition was right. She wants the Cadillac. Now it's time to make our deal. I'm asking in the mid-30s for it. Well, but I have the, the 64 Caddy at home mm -hmm. that I would really like to get $10,000 for. Well, if I give you 10000 that puts you at twenty six. And, uh, you Is know. that the best you could do? I mean, what if I gave you twenty two and the car? <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting number. Where do you get that? From our years of knowing each other, from you being the legendary salesman that you are, <laughs> reminding me of my father who was a car salesman all those years. Ted, you know, you're one of a kind. You know, flattery will get you I made you a everywhere. lay. I made you a lay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. 22 is the best you can do. Well, 20 would be better. No, it's, you, you, we're not going <laughs> down from an offer. We only go up. Oh, oh, we're going to do it like that. Yeah. Huh? Are you stuck at 22? Yeah. That's it? I, I don't have any more money than that. That's all I got. You're taking every cent. If I for do this, it for 22, you'd be happy? For this beautiful car, it would make me so happy. You own it. It's your Thank car. you, Ted. Thanks a million. Mwah! You own it. It's yours. Wow. I started out in the 30s because the car's worth that. And we're going back and forth, and then she informed me that she wanted to trade her 64 Cadillac back in that she got from me over 10 or 15 years ago. And I'm cool with that. And we settled on 22. It's a little tight for me, but I know how she takes care of her cars. So I'll be okay. She's overjoyed.